Bill Wilson, thanks for taking the time today. Uh, we haven't talked in a while, so just tell me your assessment of your team now at uh, 6-0 and in the A-Sun and the, the improvement that you've made throughout the season. Well, we started the second season with conference play, and our guys have gotten better every week. Um, our challenge each week is just to do that every day in practice, get better, and um, each opponent, make sure that we're tracking toward the end of the season so we play our best lacrosse in May. And, um, you know, our, our early season games, you know, we, we were challenged during that time, and, and we certainly did um, respond. So proud of the guys and looking forward to this, this next contest. If we can talk about goaltending at all, I know Merrick has stepped in the last couple of games, uh, uh, a walk-on for this team, and now it seems like he's taking on a leadership role back there. Yeah, Jake Merrick's done a fantastic job. Um, everyone trusts him, and he's been a very vocal uh, presence on the defensive end of the field, and you know well, that's going to continue. That's who Jake is. He's a leader, and um, he's fortunate to have um, some strong leaders in front of him as well. One challenge that the Atlantic Sun teams always have to deal with is they've got – Every team has to do this two games a week, and this is your two games a week. you got a game Wednesday against Mercer, Saturday against Jacksonville. Um, does that change the way you have to you know, put your week out? I think our guys are always focused on the next opponent, the next task at hand, and right now that's focusing 100% on Mercer. Um, if you were to ask our guys, they would to a man say that. Uh, I, I, I believe that. Um, so our challenge is going to be you know, to get better in practice today, to get ready for, for Mercer tomorrow. They're the best uh, team in the country with their record. They, 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 you can't let that record fool you. They're going to be very well coached. They're going to play hard and scrap for, for 60 minutes, and, um, and, and they have some very strong players within their roster. Seems to me like every time you play Mercer, it's always it's always close. Mercer's been playing everyone close. It's almost like uh, when's the when's the shoe going to fall, and you got to make sure it doesn't fall on Wednesday. The Mercer game's always a dogfight, year in and year out. Uh, Coach Danny, he does a great job, and, and his staff, and um, I'm sure they're going to be ready to play on Wednesday. Wednesday is a noon start. Saturday is an 11 a.m. start. Kind of a bit different. Do, do you have to change though? With you'll be playing Wednesday, and it's a quick turnaround till that Saturday game. Well, I think anytime you play a midweek game, you just have to adjust a little bit and uh, make sure your guys are fresh and and prepared. And um, the, the the focus though has to be on Air Force. And um, as much as we tend to prepare more for our opponents when we have the midweek contest and the Saturday contest, you know we just need to make sure we're focused on Air Force and and we get better at what we do and uh, to prepare for our opponent as well. Got you. Three games left in Atlantic Sun play. Bill Wilson, thanks for the time. Good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brian.